Less than 24 hours after a jury in Austin convicted Sergeant Daniel Perry of murder for killing Black Lives Matter protester Gary Foster, Governor Greg Abbott says he will pardon him as soon as the request hits his desk. KVU senior reporter Tony Ploheski joins me now. And Tony, experts say this is very rare and many people are wondering why Perry? This has truly created a firestorm this afternoon, Derenisha, and it marks what legal experts say is an unprecedented move by the governor, and it comes amid calls from conservative voices nationally, and those voices include Fox News host Tucker Carlson and Kyle Rittenhouse, who, as we know, was acquitted for shooting and killing two protesters in Wisconsin in 2020. Governor Abbott made the announcement just after 2 o'clock this afternoon, saying, quote, I am working as swiftly as Texas law allows regarding the pardon of Sergeant Perry. A jury convicted Perry after he said he shot Garrett Foster in self-defense. Perry said Foster raised an AK-47 at him during a 2020 protest, but prosecutors say that Perry instigated the violence by turning his car into that protest. In the prior weeks, Perry had posted anti-protester sentiments on social media. So here is how this process works. Governor Abbott simply can't grant Perry a pardon. He has to get a recommendation from the Board of Pardons and Paroles, which by the way, the governor appoints. We have reached out to Abbott's office for more information on this effort, but Derenisha, we have not heard back this afternoon. So a lot of questions, but again, legal experts really highlighting how absolutely unprecedented and unusual this is. And how fast this happened, right? Because he hasn't even been sentenced yet. That's true. This jury verdict happened late in the afternoon yesterday. He is not set to be sentenced until early next week. And over time, Derenisha, when you look at people who have received pardons from the governor, first of all, it's highly unusual, and it typically comes as part of an effort, part of an appeal effort. Again, to see it happening so fast in this case is, legal experts say, both unusual and in many ways disturbing to them. And we know the jury spent two weeks trying to come up with this verdict, making this decision. I'm assuming hearing this today kind of, quite frankly, feels like a slap in the face. What kind of example is this setting for the rest of the country? Well, that's an important point as well. And when you look at this case, and the legal system in general, of course, experts tell you that the entirety is really built on the opinion of the jury, which in this case sat in the jury box for two full weeks, heard from more than 40 witnesses before making their decision after a two-day deliberation. Well, it will be very interesting to see how all of this moved forward. Tony Ploheski in the studio for us tonight. Tony, thank you.